When you're doing hooking on with the horse, it's important that the horse goes forward when you put energy in the horse, but also that you can draw the horse towards you when you go backwards. Uh, and what to do if that doesn't happen? Because the horse has to kind of realize that following you, that you have a good draw, you go backwards, the horse follows, that's a good thing to do. So that's the least amount of pressure, then the pressure goes away. But then you have more pressure when the horse kind of stops turning its hind end towards you or just stops like sideways on the track. So I, I'll try to show you. And I think it's mainly kind of insecurity in the horse when they they want to kind of defend themselves a little bit when they are putting their hock or their hind end closer to you. It's kind of a slight defensiveness. So I want to make sure that hello and pressure. That was not the right thing to do. And I go backwards. Good gear. And this way, thank you. And I go backwards again. Yeah, good girl. And I might just let her rest there for a minute. Yeah, good girl. I have a lick and a chew and a head shake. And she goes like, oh my god. That was stupid of me to kind of put my hind end towards you. But you kind of just put pressure on and then you, you don't hang on to it like, oh, stupid horse, and keep the pressure there. It's like, just when the horse has their hind end towards you, that's when you put the pressure on. And when they are back on the circle trotting, you take the pressure away, because that's the right thing to do. And horses also, they are like that out in the herd. Like if one horse kind of moves another horse away or pins its ears and chases it, it's not like it's kind of angry with the other horse 10 minutes later. You know, the minute the horse moves away, it's over. So they're kind of in the moment when it comes to that. I think this was a good uh, refreshment for her. Uh, she has been ridden. Uh, for a while, but she hasn't had much groundwork lately. And she also is learning now when she's standing still and resting and looking at me. So what you don't want to do if you want your horse to come towards you and you go backwards and, and get a good draw is to let the horse rest with, it, with its hind end toward you or just uh, sideways on the track. Like if you want to establish this, then uh, every time you rest the horse, it's when the horse is looking at you. That's the resting place. Yeah, good gear. So I have a good drive, I can get her forward easily and I want her to Come inwards, inwards, good girl. And then I let her rest there. Because that's the good thing to do. So that's the resting place. To look at me. I go backwards, backwards, backwards. Good girl. And she turns around. That's good. And I can go backwards, backwards, backwards. Good girl. Yeah, she's much more like attentive towards me now. Like, oh yeah, you mean something with how you move. That has some kind of meaning to it. So she's uh, keen to not miss anything. <laughs>